Hello friends good morning welcome to our chemistry class today we are going to discuss about one of the ionization method in mass spectrometry in our previous class we have discussed about the fast atom bombardment today in this class we are going to discuss about thermo spray ionization okay friends let us start this thermo spray ionization is a evaporative ionization method means here in order to occur the evaporation thermal conditions are used okay so thermo okay thermo spray ionization so in this technique also ionization method is involved okay see it is a evaporative ionization method in which solvent molecules are removed from analyte from sorry by evaporation see so we know that see to the analyte okay means in this technique analyte is usually surrounded by the solvent molecules so in this technique solvent molecules are removed from the analyte by evaporation okay next see this thermo spray ionization is very popular for coupling with chromatography instrument okay so this technique is very popular for what means just for coupling with chromatography instrument especially liquid chromatography like hplc means high pressure or high performance liquid chromatography next rp hplc means reverse phase high pressure liquid chromatography okay next c eluent sample coming from the column will be passed through the heated capillary tube this is the column friends so from the column sample is eluted means just here the sample is coming out and this is called eluent so eluent sample coming from the column will be passed through the heating capillary tube so this is the heating capillary tube okay the eluent which is coming from the column is passed okay through the heated capillary tube okay next see this heated capillary tube will nebulize the eluent so this heated capillary tube will nebulize the eluent okay i think you have idea about the nebulization or the nebulize means nothing friends just here the liquid get converted into fine spray that is nebulization so conversion of liquid into fine spray that is called nebulization okay the eluent which is coming from the column okay will means uh, uh, will be nebulized in the heated capillary tube okay next partially evaporating the solvent and means here the partial evaporation of the solvent will occur and form a stream of fine spray so here the fine spray is formed it is just in the form of steam okay fine spray droplets okay these droplets are partially charged by thermal energy okay so here these droplets will be partially charged no how these are partially charged means just by the thermal energy okay and here the solvent gets evaporated from the spray so from this spray the solvent get evaporates okay next step see and finally they will move towards the mass analyzer okay next step due to thermal energy analytes will be partially ionized already we discussed here okay means uh, see here the fine spray droplets will be partially ionized okay how they get ionized means due to thermal energy or because of thermal energy analytes will be partially ionized and here the solvent will be evaporated okay next these ionized analytes will move towards the mass analyzer for the further analysis so they will move towards the mass analyzer for further analysis okay this is the brief discussion about the thermo spray ionization okay next see let us see this one that is a electro spray ionization okay okay see electro spray ionization okay it can be represented in the form of esi that is electro spray ionization okay see it is a type of evaporative ionization technique okay this is also a evaporative ionization technique okay this technique is also used to analyze the 
high molecular weight molecules okay having the properties like lability means the easy easiness of reacting okay labile and non volatile compounds okay this electro spray ionization is a type of evaporative ionization technique okay this technique is used to analyze the high molecular weight molecules having the properties like labile and non volatile okay next see due to this electro spray ionization technique okay mass spectrometry okay here we should not use the scopy fritz okay this is spectrometry okay as i discussed that here electromagnetic radiations are not used that's why here we should not use the term scopy okay this is actually my mistake friends please excuse me okay here we had to use the spectrometry okay see due to electro spray ionization technique mass spectrometry becomes very popular and generally coupled with chromatography okay next see here a solution containing the sample molecules is sprayed through the high voltage potential capillary okay see the solution okay which which containing the okay the solution which is containing the sample molecules is sprayed through high voltage potential capillary okay this is the capillary okay the solution which is containing the sample molecules is here the sprayed okay in the electro spray ionization capillary tube okay these sprayed droplets are ionized so here the ionization will occur okay this ionization is due to high voltage potential okay here okay this one this ionization is due to high voltage potential at capillary heated okay next see here the dissolvation gas will evaporate the solvent and it will produce the molecular ion okay in this the dissolvation gas is present mostly that is nitrogen gas okay that dissolvation gas will evaporate the solvent okay will make the solvent to evaporate and it will produce the molecular ion okay next see just try to observe this friends okay this is the sample can see this is the solvent okay this is the sample in wet okay here it is the nebulization gas nebulization gas here it is nitrogen gas okay here also nitrogen gas okay this is electro spray ionization capillary okay at this tip this terminal end is means here uh, high voltage tip okay this is called high voltage tip here the ionization will occur evaporation see this is the ionization chamber so here the ionization will occur so here uh, the power supply of about 2 to 4 kilo volts uh, is supplied so power supply will occur at this place and finally the solvent evaporation will occur and it will moves uh, towards the ion accelerator so here the acceleration of the ions will occur and finally enters uh, into the mass analyzer okay next see one more thing here the spray is produced you no know, okay this spray means the production of spray is due to the nebulization gas friends okay next see it can also produce multiple charged ions along with singly charged ions okay so in this electro spray ionization technique okay uh, means along with the means in addition to the singly charged ions multiple charged ions can also be produced okay okay next see this technique is used to ionize proteins peptides lipids oligosaccharides oligonucleotides and synthetic polymers friends see lot of advantages are present right yeah okay friends i hope you understood this thank you